how to improve your posture in three easy moves. That's right, you guys. Today we have three easy moves to help you improve your posture. And when I say improve your posture, I want you to be thinking about opening up through the chest and really training the muscles down your spine and through your back so you stand up taller, improve your posture, and you feel more confident as you do this. Um, a lot of times, because we are holding heavy bags or holding babies or working at desks, we round forward, we round the shoulders, we have sort of a, a whole rounding through the spine happening, and we just close ourselves off, close the heart, and we want to open up the chest and shoulders. So I have three lovely moves for you to help improve your posture and do this. And the first one, all you need is a doorway. So I'm going to walk back into my doorway. And your first move is just holding onto either side of the door, stepping through it, and you have your Titanic stretch. Ah! So you just get to open here and hold and breathe into it. Now you want to hold these stretches for probably about 30 seconds or so. Depending on how tight your chest is, you might feel that you can change legs. You can kind of press the right forward shoulder a little bit more and then the left. Just breathe into it. And when I say breathe into it, actually visualize your breath going in through your nose, down through your throat, into your chest and into your shoulders and feel your chest and shoulders releasing and opening up. You will feel a gentle pull. If it's painful, just release a little bit. You don't want to be over stretching. Think about stretching this to about 80%. Yeah? Just breathing into it and enjoying that lovely chest opening stretch. Opening up through your heart as well. So that's really, really good. Nice, easy one to start with as well. And let's move on to our next move. Next move is down on the floor. So if you have a mat or carpeting, that would be great. You just lie down on your front and you take your arms out to the side. You look down at the floor. You're just going to bend the right leg, lift the thigh off the floor, and then rotate your right toes around to your left hand. This is your scorpion stretch. And once you're here, you reach that right hand up to the ceiling and you open up through the chest and that left shoulder. That left shoulder presses down into the mat. You will massively feel that left shoulder releasing. You're working all the muscles down your posterior chain, so they're still switched on. They're still squeezing and open up through the front of the body. And then you release that down, unwind yourself, and change. So if I lift my left thigh off the floor and rotate that left toe around to my right hand, you get a nice little twist through the lower back, which feels great. And then you lift that left hand up to the ceiling and open up to the chest. And now my right shoulder is pressing it into the floor and I'm really just stretching each side at a time. So we stretch that doorway, do both shoulders and open up to the chest at the same time. Now we're end up going into each shoulder individually. Because we can be unbalanced. One side might be tighter than the other. Especially if you uh, are a new parent or you're holding a baby, you might be always holding the baby on one side. This is just really good to help you release and breathe into that stretch. Just really unwind and release. Roll yourself up. Now our last move is a wall angel. Now this is more of a training exercise through the posterior muscles, through your back and shoulder blades. What you're going to do is take your arms out to a uh, goal post position, so at 90 degrees. Elbows are at about shoulder height. So because my glutes stick out, I need to soften my knees so I can try to flatten my back along the wall and I might need to walk my feet forward just a little bit so my tailbone points down to the floor. So I feel like I have a neutral pelvis. And then I'm gliding my shoulders around the back of my rib cage so they are flat against the wall as well. And I'm just gonna hold it here for about one minute. Breathing into it. Now this can feel a little uncomfortable because you are not used to opening up the chest as much. Your shoulder blades are really having to hug around the back of the rib cage to hold this position. Find those posterior muscles and train them to stay here. So if we can do this, this exercise twice a day, just, just, just this wall angel, that will massively help you improve your posture. Wall angels are amazing. Just breathing into it here. So 
such a good one. So you can do these every morning or every evening, or if you have an office job, try to just have a little break in the middle of your day and take these three moves just to open up through the chest and just release any of the tightness that's going into the chest while you're at work. And there you have it. Those are three easy moves that you can do to help improve your posture in absolutely no time at all. Depending, can't tell you how long it's going to take you to improve your posture because everyone's gonna be coming from a different starting point. But if you commit to this and keep doing this once or twice daily, your posture will improve significantly. So I hope you found those uh, exercises useful and make sure you leave a comment in the box below. Give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that notification button so you find my new videos every Monday right to your inbox. So find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and I will see you next Monday for another amazing video.